Hey everyone, it's Dr. Michelle Au here, and I just wanted to give you an update and some thoughts. So here at Emory Healthcare, we've canceled all but emergency visits and surgeries. And in this moment, it's important for everyone to remember that just because we're in a pandemic doesn't mean that other medical emergencies stop. People still have broken bones to fix, people still require cancer surgery, people still have heart attacks, and people happily are still having babies. The work of the hospital marches on, and we will continue taking care of people who need us, whatever the reason. But this is just a reminder that in the face of increasing need, our resources for taking care of every patient are precious and essential. In particular, I wanna thank the community members who have pitched in to donate medical supplies to keep our patients and staff safe. Thank you so much. I also wanna thank the healthy community members who have volunteered to donate blood in the past few days to shore up the dwindling supplies at the Red Cross. Without hyperbole, your contribution saved a life. So thank you so much. Finally, I wanna make one observation. Many have referred to healthcare workers as working on the front line of this epidemic. I understand this terminology and the inclination to use wartime metaphors in this moment is apt. However, one thing needs to be made clear. We are not the front line in this battle. We as healthcare workers stand in the back. We are the last line of defense and we hope the fight never gets to us. The front line of this epidemic is you, the people in the community tasked with the challenge of keeping us all safe. The history of public health is a story of prevention. Public health is about preventing larger problems before they happen. And we need you on the front lines to help stand guard. You do this by social distancing and preventing community spread in every way possible. You do this by cleaning and sanitizing. You do this by applying quarantine when indicated. And hopefully eventually we'll add to this list vaccination as one further public health measure in this fight. So thank you for standing on the front lines for us and know that all of us on the last line of defense appreciate anything you can do to help. Be safe and take care of each other.